It's been a while since I did one of these, standing here talking about a Windows device, giving my impressions on it and who it might be for. This one, however, has a slightly different feel to it. For starters, if you've seen an Expert Zone overview with my face before, you'll notice that I'm in a different space now. It's nice, I like it, it's blue, it's funky. But that's neither here nor there. This one will have a different feel for a couple reasons. One, we are looking at a device that I've actually looked at before. We looked at it in the early part of 2021. You can find a link to that in the description. I'm even wearing the same shirt, slightly accidental, but it's good. However, this time it's got one big difference, which leads me to the second reason this overview will feel slightly different. This overview features a device that comes with Windows 11 out the box. So, here it is, our Microsoft Expert Zone overview of the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 365 5G on Windows 11. Roll it. Okay, now before we begin the usual caveats, this is an impression slash overview. Uh, we will not be doing a full review on this device. The aim here is to give you everything we think you need to know and give you an idea of the kind of person we think this device is suited towards. Also, our experience with the device was all shot when we were invited down for some separate filming with the Samsung UK team in their studio. Big shout out to them uh, who sent us all the footage so that we can use it for our own overview on this channel, so thank you very much, Lee. So let's get into it. The Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 365 5G is still an absolute mouthful to say. I challenge you to say it five times fast. But in all seriousness, this model has the same fantastic build quality that we saw from earlier in 2021. So let's take a quick look at the body. Now, this is a very light design. It weighs in at just 1.07 kilograms, so just over your typical bag of sugar. It's also just 11.5 millimeters thick. It's very easy to take around, throw into a bag. Granted, I wouldn't recommend actually throwing it. That would be a bit crazy. This is too nice to throw, so you know, don't. The model we looked at was Mystic Silver, and from my experience, fingerprints weren't that obvious to see, which is a very, very nice thing indeed. Now, in terms of ports, we have uh, one side with a Thunderbolt 4 port, one USB-C port, and a micro SD card reader. On the other side, we have another USB-C port, one headphone jack, and a SIM card tray for that all-important 5G connectivity. Now, uh, we have the bottom firing speakers here, which are the same AKG stereo speakers we saw earlier this year, with support for Dolby Atmos there on the base. Very, very nice. Now, this is a two-in-one device, so we have that 360 hinge, which feels really robust and stable, yet easy to move around. We'll talk about things like using it in tablet mode and such later on, but let's start with one of my favorite parts of these videos, the screen. The Galaxy Book Pro 360 5G has a 13.3 inch super AMOLED display. It's full HD, it's a touchscreen, and it's in a word, gorgeous. Colors are very vibrant, and for the color buffs out there, the screen has a 120% color volume. Plus, Samsung calls this an eye care display, so it reduces blue light coming from the display by 6.5 times. Handy stuff, that. It's also good for gaming as well, with a response rate of just 0.2 seconds. Gaming, you say? On this? Yeah, uh, yeah, patience, we'll, we'll get to that. There is a 720p HD webcam housed in the top with built-in software offering a studio mode so you can beautify yourself, which is very nice. But if we move down onto the bottom half now, we have the keyboard. Now, this is Samsung's Pro keyboard. Uh, we have wide curved keys with a good spacing. It is very nice. I don't have a clip for it, but they have a really satisfying clicky sound to them. It's not too loud, but it's just nice. It's similar feeling to really that kind of nice car door shut feeling that you get. Never compared a Windows device to a car door before, but you know, here we are. We've also got the fingerprint reader, which is in the top right corner, which supports Windows Hello, uh, plus our nice large trackpad, uh, surprisingly large for a device of this size. So that's the outside. Again, same fantastic build quality. Not a lot else uh, for me to say here. The big change is that this is now on Windows 11. Now, you might be thinking, it's just an OS change. The device 
is still the same, but the new design and tools of Windows 11 does change the way you use this device or the way you may use it. So let's get into that. Windows 11, we've got the power and security of Windows 10, but with a redesigned and refreshed look with all the new tools to play with. We've got our new centered taskbar, the curves, the slight opacity to the different windows. Windows 11 is a gorgeous looking edition of Windows. Now, I've seen Windows 11 running on quite a few different devices now, but this was my first opportunity to see it running on a device that will feature Windows 11 out of the box. There's several features in Windows 11 which work in tandem with this Samsung device to really make it shine. One thing I wanna show off is how it all works when using it as a tablet. Now, I've been on record saying that I love touchscreens on a Windows device. You can have this kind of hybrid workflow of going from the keyboard on the trackpad to the screen, but if I'm being honest here, I've never really used a Windows device as a tablet. So seeing as we had a two-in-one device to play with, it makes sense to talk about it here. Now, when we flip the device into tablet mode, it doesn't swap into some weird unrecognizable screen. It's still Windows 11, except the taskbar is a little bit more spaced out. Just nice, nice there. The touch points uh, from resizing apps have been significantly improved. I can drag and drop everything into place. We can swipe left to pull out widgets so I can get to the info that's important to me or any news I want to check out. Then we have the new touch keyboard, which works brilliantly. Uh, we can use it as a traditional keyboard or I can turn it into a split keyboard or even a small one-handed one, which supports swipe typing as well. Now, the point I'm getting at here is that this is the first time I could actually imagine myself using a Windows device as a tablet exclusively. And I actually tried this a few weeks ago on one of my own devices. I was playing uh, an open mic night. Yes, I do music stuff, surprise, surprise. I needed to have lyrics and chords in front of me, so I just copied the lyrics from online into my OneNote. I wrote down the chords next to it using the pen, then had it stood vertically against the chair. If you don't believe me, look, here is said Windows device and I did it all in tablet mode. I didn't reach for the keyboard or the trackpad once, it just works. And the Galaxy Book Pro 365G is a great example as when I flip it around, it's still very thin and it's light enough for me to realistically hold like I would any other tablet. It just makes sense. Another call out feature is of course the S Pen. Uh, now this comes in the box and has a magnet so that it sticks to the outside neatly. Uh, now this supports Windows Ink and everything that comes with that. Uh, one of which is the new Ink workspace which is on the bottom right. Cool little fact here for you is that you can customize the workspace to feature any app that is installed on your device. So you can make it relevant to you, be that for note taking, creative art, whatever you fancy using the pen for. Now, I could be here all day talking about some of the cool Windows 11 stuff we can do. I'm not gonna, I don't have the time, but I did mention earlier that we talk gaming. So how can we game on a device that's as small as this? Now, the Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 365G is based on the Intel Evo platform. That's the premium stamp of approval that this meets the expectations of a premium Intel Evo device, like over nine hours of battery life, a full HD display, a thin and light design, and also Intel Iris Xe graphics. Now, Intel Iris Xe is integrated graphics, and you might be thinking, wait, so this is what we're talking about when gaming? And you'd be wrong. Granted, Intel's take on integrated graphics has improved a lot and you can genuinely play games using it, but the component I'm talking about here for gaming is actually 5G. Now, with Windows 11, the Xbox app is pre-installed. Now, with said Xbox app, if you have an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription, which you can buy separately, uh, you can access cloud gaming. All you need is a controller connected via either Bluetooth or wired, a good internet connection, and you're away. So if you're in the city and have a 5G SIM card, you can stream some of the biggest games out there at 1080p, which absolutely were not designed to run on a thin and light device like this one. But we can, and that's amazing. Now, this will of course work on a strong 4G connection on, or on your home internet as well. Your speeds will of course determine the quality of the stream, so do keep that in mind. But the idea that you can take a device this thin, this light, this gorgeous, and still play Halo Infinite on it when it comes out later this year. 
I love that. Now, let's wrap up this video in a neat little bow. The Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 5G is a gorgeous premium bit of kit. Uh, with Windows 11, its design shines further with software improvements that allow the hardware to shine even more than it already has. Is this device for you? Well, that's always the question, isn't it? Again, this is a premium Windows device, very premium. So yes, you get the specs, which here are an 11th gen Intel i5, eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabyte SSD. But you're also getting the Super AMOLED display, the amazing build quality, the thin and light design. The aesthetic itself is going to be a reason why you might go for a device like this. Add to that the 5G connectivity and this device becomes a perfect fit for someone who works remotely traveling from home to the office or maybe to different locations. You can stay connected and stay in your flow all within a small package that is easy to carry around. And if you fancy the odd bit of playtime at home or away, you can grab an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription and access cloud gaming right from the same device. The Samsung Galaxy Book Pro 360 5G is as gorgeous as it was the first time that I got to look at it. It's as useful as it was before as well. But with Windows 11, even more so. Thanks for watching. You can check out some of our previous overviews by clicking around my head. You can also follow Expert Zone UK and Ireland on Facebook, Twitch, and Instagram. We are a team of nice folk who primarily dish out information to those in retail, but also to the public like this video here. So we hope you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe. We'll see you next time.